Caden and Papa are off to go work down there. Doing some work. But me and Buddy. Also doing some work. Are swimming through the air right now because it is so humid and hot in our bee suits. And we're gonna go work on the bees. So the plan is, we are going to first work on this one, check them out, see if we can't take a few frames from them. Um, but I, I am thinking that they swarmed because I don't know if you can tell, but the other two are, there's just a ton of bees bearding or just hanging out on the outside because it's hot. The one on the left is washboarding right now. Let me put my full suit on so I can get closer and not die. One second. All right. I wanted to come in here with a voiceover during the editing because what happened, we really didn't get... Um, caught on camera and I just wanted to make sure that everyone knew how the hive inspection went because I know a lot of people have been asking about the new queen and the new hive but we kind of had an emergency here with our um, older hive we opened up the first box and it looked good it looked normal there was lots of capped honey we opened up the second box. Well, let me just start by saying when we opened up the hive, there were hardly any bees in it. I mean, I saw like 30 bees. So we knew something was wrong. But we get into the second box, it also looks completely normal. There was a lot of capped honey in there. And then we get to the third box and that's when things kind of took a turn we noticed some signs of a uh, wax moth infestation. And a wax moth is a, a moth that will get into hives, especially like weaker hives. You know, they're, they're very opportunistic. So um, if they can get into a hive, they'll get into the hive and they'll lay eggs into the, the comb. And then that will make caterpillars and then they'll eat the wax and get big enough to make a cocoon and then they'll become a moth. So um, when we got further down into the hive we could see that it was much worse. You could see the tunnels that they make, the eggs, you know, the webs that they put on top of the comb and um, it was pretty bad. So we knew right away that that was what had happened. All those bees left the hive because of the infestation. So what we have to do now, because all of that honey that they've created is not really, uh, we don't want to use it for human consumption. It could have bacteria or other things um, just not great stuff in it and we want pure honey so they don't go to waste which is good but we have to clean them and freeze them so we clean them we freeze them and um, the the frames can still be used but you know they have to be frozen to make sure that everything is dead there's no pests or caterpillars or anything like that still in the comb and then you can just set them out and let the bees clean them off give them honey you can add the frames to hives for extra food you can start new hives with the frames so you can still use them they just have to be cleaned and frozen first so it was very unfortunate you know that we uh, lost a hive essentially due to the wax moth infestation but um, you can see some of the boxes here are also falling apart so these boxes need to be replaced for sure but this is what you know we we started the hive inspection with this which was not great 
you know, losing a hive is not great at all, but also having the cleanup of an infestation and having to take care of all of that. And then also on top of all that, having two boxes of honey that you can't use. Just not great news for us, but we are just finding places to put these frames right now. We're putting them in, you know, bags or the cooler, wherever we can store them to try and keep the other bees away from them and off of them so that we can get them back up to the house and get them cleaned and frozen. Right here, Steph actually sees like caterpillars inside the honey. She was showing me and it's still alive in there. So she is basically digging them out where she sees them to uh, to make sure that, you know, they're not even in there whenever we freeze them. Just part of the cleaning process of what we're having to go through here. So we are officially down one hive. We still have one that Pops gave us that we need to move up here. And we still have two more hives to inspect. And, you know, we're really hoping that, that uh, things go better with these next two hives because this was just something that we really did not want to find when we came out here to do our hive inspections. inspecting our brand new hive and Steph was still trying to get the smoker working at this point it kept dying on her so I didn't even smoke these bees and they are just so gentle these girls are very gentle I took the lid off they were just doing their thing um, I was going to clean some wax off right here, and then I realized that that frame is actually sunk in a little bit lower than the other frame, so it's kind of pointless because they would just build that wax back up. They don't want a gap right there. So now we are going to take a frame out to make sure the queen is laying babies and all that stuff is going good. Steph is still on the struggle bus over there trying to get this smoker working, but we go ahead and pull this first frame out, and like I said, we're really just looking to make sure that the queen is laying eggs and that everything looks good with the hive, since this is our new hive's very first inspection. So this was pretty awesome. We go ahead and pull it out and right away we can see we can see bees bee babies basically. We can see them on the frame. The queen is laying um laying eggs and it looks really good. There's nurse bees taking care of the eggs. There's even some capped honey up in the top corner. But what blew my mind here was that there was little baby bees eating their way out of their cell. And it was so cool to see that. These little bitty baby bees just chewing, chewing their way out of the cell. And you can see um, one of them right there at the end of my finger. And I will, uh, I'll pause and do a still frame here with an arrow so that you know what I'm looking at but that was such a cool sign to just see little baby bees chewing their way out so the queen is doing her job for sure so here is a still frame and an arrow right there on the little baby bee 
but super cool to see. The hive looks very healthy, and that was great news after, you know, what had happened with our first hive. So we gave them a brand new box because they are getting close to filling that box up. So they got a new box in their hive, and now on to the third. But check this out, the bees are doing something called washboarding, and Steph mentioned this earlier in the video, but they're, they're moving backwards and forwards in this little bitty area. And beekeepers to this day still do not know why bees do this washboarding. They call it washboarding because they're moving up, up and down almost like you would with clothes on a washboard. Some people think that maybe they're cleaning off the surface area of their hive or they're smoothing this, any rough surfaces that they find, but there, there still is, it's not really conclusive as to why they do this. Sometimes they'll do it for a couple days, sometimes they'll do it for a couple weeks, but it's kind of cool to see. They're just out there going back and forth and back and forth. So we popped this hive open because, you know, we want to check on the new queen. Right away, I can tell that the attitude of this hive has changed. I mean, when I'm, if I would have been out here popping the top off and checking them out before, they would have been all around me and not happy about it, but they are pretty calm at this point. They're still pretty chill, and I'm really amazed at how calm they are being because I know there's still bees that are part of this hive that were, you know, part of the last queen's hive. They're, they're still alive in there. But it's just a really good sign to see this already. And this first box is full of honey. It is packed. There are no more frames that they can use. There is no more room in this first box. So we go ahead and get some honey out of that first box and then we go down into the deep to make sure the queen is doing good and I see her right away and I see little baby uh, little baby um, cells that she is laying in there and just look at how gentle this hive is being right now. Now there are bees around me like I said they're it's not a cloud like it was before, but there's definitely still some not happy bees inside this hive, but man, this hive is working. They are pumping out the honey. So we went ahead and harvested some frames from them and then put, gave them some new empty frames in the one box below and then gave them a whole new box on top. And we outfit them with all new frames because they are just cranking out the honey in this hive but it was really good to see that the new they they've taken to the new queen they're already more calm than they were before and they are in production mode man it, it was awesome that you know we we're gonna get honey from this and it was just good seeing that this hive was doing so well And especially after, you know, everything that's happened and then us coming out this morning and essentially losing a hive, seeing these two hives and this one especially just rocking and rolling was was really good. And, you know, I, I know a lot of you have been asking, there's been a lot of comments and questions about how's the new queen doing, how's everything going with the the angry queen's hive the old angry queen's hive and it was really good to get in there and just see that everything is going really well with these two hives so the rest the last thing that we have to really do is just um the cleanup just kind of clean everything up but man these bees are super gentle compared to what they were before so I want to thank everyone for joining us on this video and checking out the new, checking out the, the uh, hives. And we will have a third hive. Pops gave us one and we will move it down in the place of the hive that we lost. But yeah, 
so thank you so much for joining and we will catch you on the next one bye guys Thank you.